Okay, assalamualaikum and very uh, good afternoon to all of you. Uh, so, okay, so today I would like to give you uh, about uh, lecture about short lecture actually. It's not lecture. Eh? It's just a introduction to the acoustic. Yeah, to those who are new to the uh, uh, acoustic research. For example, our PSM student. Yeah, we have. PSM student like uh, Kamaru Zaman, Nazura, who else? I think uh, there are uh, six. Uh, Nadira, six students, right? Six or uh, five? Six, right? Six, right? Six, uh, six students, yeah? So uh, I, need we, uh, I think we need to go to the basic one, eh? uh, okay? So as you can see on the screen now is the, actually uh, this is uh, uh, why I love acoustic eh? for me, eh? why I love acoustic. <laughs> this, is, this is the slide uh, when I give talk to the uh, lecturer at uh, SKA. Yeah? So uh, it's about writing book actually, eh? but um, writing book about acoustic. So that's why I put here, why I love acoustic, yeah? it's okay. Yeah? So uh, actually uh, I involved with the acoustic since 2002 yeah, before I went to the PhD last time. Yeah? Um, so that time uh, nobody has done acoustic in SKA. Yeah? So after I come back from the uh, study, so we have a lot of students. Yeah? Uh, doing PhD and all masters and also uh, PSM. Yeah? If you go to the uh, SKA library, uh, you can find you can find many of the PSM yeah? uh, about the acoustic. Yeah? But uh, I'm afraid that you, if you just uh, just look just copy what they they have done, I'm afraid that uh, you got the wrong information yeah? because some of them. Uh, the, the information in the uh, last uh, PSM maybe not not accurate. Eh? Okay, so I I hope through this lecture uh, you 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 will now uh, you will know what is the acoustic actually. Yeah? So uh, this the picture the, this old man eh, actually is the Leo Branek. This is is the father of acoustic. Eh? Okay, I'm sorry about that. There's a grass cutter outside my house. Eh? Okay, um, and this is some of the book related to the acoustic. Yeah, this is uh, uh, this is the book about building acoustic, and this is about a burn sound environment. Yeah? And uh, actually, we have a book. Yeah? Our group have produced a book. It's related to the construction noise. Yeah? But if you read that book, you need to book yeah? because uh, this is research book. So we need to inform the uh, UTM publisher uh, to, to print. Yeah? They, they don't sell it on the shop. Yeah? Okay, it, it is uh, on demand actually. Yeah? Okay. Okay, so uh, talking about noise problem, yeah? everybody got a problem. Uh, uh, like uh, environmental uh, water problem and so on. But noise is one of the uh, most uh, set issues. In, if you read in a paper, in a television and so on, yeah, even in a you know, journal now, uh, noise problem becomes a common problem. Yeah? It, in Malaysia, it is second, uh, the second problem. Yeah? Uh, after uh, um, after sorry about that it is second problem after uh, air pollution yeah okay so uh, when we concern about noise problem, 
it is actually a problem that happened maybe at outside, uh, inside the house, inside the office and so on. So if you want to uh, reduce it, yeah, you need to reduce at the source actually. Yeah? Reduce at the source is the, the main, the significant one. Yeah? But if we cannot reduce uh, the noise at the source, so we can reduce at the receiver. For example, yeah, we, if it is traffic noise, then we need to reduce the, um, the, 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 the type of the vehicles. Yeah? For example, uh, nowadays we have a good tire. Yeah? Tire is one of the source of the noise for the vehicles. Yeah? So nowadays we have a, a quiet tire. So that is the purpose of the, uh, uh, that is the, as a result of the uh, research. Yeah? Uh, if uh, the receiver, for example, we need to uh, install sound absorber in the house. Yeah? Therefore, uh, when we want to, to treat the uh, noise problem, we need to identify what is, what is the main problem. If it is in the house, the noise in the house, then we, we need to focus what is the important element in the house. If it is in the classroom, then we need to focus what is what 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 is the parameter that we need to improve it. Okay, and also um, those who are new to the uh, acoustic, yeah, maybe uh, some of you yeah, don't know whether you want to use DB, DBA, or DBC. Yeah? Sometimes the writer in the book use DB, sometimes DBA. So some of some people they don't they don't know which one is the, the right one yeah? okay so this is uh this is an example of the okay there are somebody want to join okay okay shami join okay uh, you can see here the, the flow chart. Yeah, this is the uh, noise problem that we face uh, today. Yeah, it is happen. If it is happen outside, it is called environmental. Yeah? If it is happen in the building, it is called in uh, building acoustic. Yeah? So we need to classify which one. Uh, what is our uh, noise problem happen? Yeah, where 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 did it happen? For example, if it is traffic noise, then it is environmental noise, then um, we need to refer to the right standard. For example, we need to refer DOE, yeah? uh, the, 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 uh, for example, highway standard, CRTN, this is a uh, British, yeah? uh, UK, UK code, CRTN. Um, then the index of noise, usually we use LAEQ. LAEQ is the equivalent noise, yeah? LA10 and LA90. So this is the index that we use if we want to treat the environmental noise. Uh, the second one, for example, uh, construction. Yeah? If, we, if, our, if we have a problem, the noise from construction, or, uh, for example, we are a project manager at the construction site. So the thing that we need to uh, uh, focus is that LAEQ, the same with the noise, traffic noise, LA10 and LA90. Yeah? And then we, we can refer to the um, BS5228, where inside the, this code, uh, they uh, provide method of construction yeah, to, to reduce the noise from the construction site. And then we also need to refer to the Department of Environment, Malaysia, DOE. Yeah. So this is if we concern the noise happen at the neighborhood. Yeah. I mean, if we live near to the construction site and our, our, our area is affected by construction noise, then we need to refer DOE. 
and the code is BS5228, all right? But if we are concerned the workers in the construction site, then we need to refer the OSH, OSH 2019. That this is a, a regulation uh, uh, to the workers. Yeah? Right, so we have two different, two different uh, standard here, DOE and OSH. If we concern, yeah, if we, if we concern to the uh, workers, yeah, so we don't need to refer to DOE. Yeah? Instead, we refer to the OSH. But if we concern with the environment, yeah, if our we concern that our construction site will affect the neighborhood. Therefore, we need to refer to the Department of Environment. Yeah. So therefore, uh, the, the standard that we refer must based on the problem that we face. Yeah. Okay, Th there are also uh, neighborhood noise, for example, from the concert, yeah. uh, from the, um, yeah, usually the concert, yeah. It is also uh, classified under the environmental noise. Yeah, this one we measure using LAEQ. Yeah? And the method how to reduce is just awareness, awareness to the neighborhood. And then we can refer to the DOE and also WHO. Yeah? WHO will have organization also poses, uh, also got the uh, limit, limit for the uh, noise. Yeah? Okay, this is called environmental noise. Yeah? So if you work uh, outside, yeah? outside the house, outside the office, facing the problem outside premises, that is called environmental noise. And the, and the code that we refer also different according to the uh, problem that we face here. Yeah? As you can see in the uh, chart. Yeah? So, Okay, for the building, yeah? some of you may do may be doing may doing um, may be doing uh, uh, building acoustic. Yeah? For example, you have a problem inside the school, inside the house, yeah? inside the hall, and so on. That's called building acoustic. And the parameter that you need, you need to look into is reverberation time. Yeah? This is reverberation time, and LA ninety. LA90 means background noise. Yeah? Background noise means um, the noise you measured inside a room or inside the seminar room or auditorium and so on without people inside, without any activities. Yeah? The, the, the noise that ambient noise that is caused by the light, the aircon, it's included in LA90. And the, uh, the code that you may refer, maybe uh, World Health Organization, yeah? or BB93, this is for the school, yeah? BB93. Okay, we, in Malaysia, we don't have the regulation yet. Yeah? So we refer to the other countries code. Okay, for the factory, yeah? factory we have two types. Yeah? Maybe we concern with the workers. So we will look, uh, uh, we will use OSH 2019. Yeah? But if we want to concern about environment in the factory, so we need to calculate reverberation time, LA 90, and also uh, you can refer to the limit uh, given by WHO. Yeah. Okay, why do we why do we need to concern all of this? Yeah. Uh, um, have you heard the SDG, Sustainable Development Goal? I think most of you know about that. Yeah? Now we are moving towards sustainable development. Yeah? So by doing um, all of this, yeah, treatment uh, to the uh, environmental noise and also treatment in the, in the building, we, we will deal with the SDG 3. Yeah? We concern about health and well-being. We concern about the quality education and also we concern about a sustainable infrastructure, SDG 9. Uh, sorry, it's very noisy outside.
Can you hear? Okay, all right. Doktor boleh dengar. Okay, okay, okay. Hari ni ada orang potong rumput pula. <laughs> Kebetulan eh. Uh, okay, so sorry. Okay. Ah, uh, so actually, what is acoustic? Eh? Acoustic is actually is a branch of physics. Yeah, that that is we study the sound, the production, how to control the sound, transmit, uh, reception, and also effect of sound. That is called acoustic. It include vibration actually. Yeah. So sound, yeah, is also uh, acoustic include sound and vibration. Um, it is a fundamental of many development of technologies current current technologies. Yeah? All right. Uh, as you can see here, yeah, this is the speed train. Yeah, this is a noise breaker. Yeah? So because of the you know study of acoustic, we can you know uh, develop a noise breaker here. Yeah. So the development of noise breaker yeah, will involve the study of sound. How the noise propagate from the uh, speed train? Yeah? What is the uh, characteristic of sound? And what is the characteristic of the material here that, that can you know, absorb the sound? So that is called acoustic. OK. Any question? Ada soalan tak? Shakir, kenapa kasi mata gelap? <laughs> Shakir using sunglass. <laughs> okay. If uh, there's no question, we proceed to the next one. Okay, now uh, I would like to introduce you to the physical of sound. Yeah? Acoustic is about physical of sound, study of physical of sound, yeah? the, the noise source, the transmission, the propagation, and so on. Yeah? Okay, now the content, yeah? the content of this uh, slide is fundamental of sound, B rules for calculating sound, C is sound power, and then the last one is sound power versus sound pressure level. Okay, now the fundamental of sound. Okay, as you can see here, if we have a fork, yeah, if we uh, have a something yeah, or we knock something, something like that, the air, yeah, will, you know, the molecule, yeah, the sound is actually developed from the molecule vibration of the molecule propagate from the source from the source here to our ears yeah? so it the, the molecule on the air some of the molecule will be condensed and some of the mo no, uh, molecule will be diffract the bowl one is condensed so it's this is just like our structures yeah? the structure when we put the load and we have a tension and compression a similar with the uh, sound. Yeah? Sound is uh, uh, created because of the uh, movement of air molecule to the to our ears. Yeah? It, it creates a wave, yeah? a wave. Okay. Um, okay, so that is sound. Yeah? So what is noise? Noise is unwanted sound. Yeah? So the first figure here shows you a pure sound. A pure sound is one tone only. For example, we produce sound for the certain frequency. It is called pure sound, only one frequency. But noise, yeah, noise is unwanted sound. Yeah. Noise, for example, here we have a hammer. Yeah. When we, uh, you know, 
it will produce noise. Yeah? It, it, it is not uh, it is not uh, constant like this. Yeah? If your sound we have create we will create a music note yeah? Just, like a piano, some piano, guitar, and so on. It is pleasant sound, yeah? but the noise yeah, from the hammer here. The, the the characteristic you can see the characteristic here yeah? this is called unwanted noise by 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 looking at the characteristic the wave yeah? the wave is not const, is not uniform yeah okay um, okay when we when we talk about uh, acoustic yeah? we must understand what is the sound wave yeah? especially when you do you study about material so this is the uh, properties of the wave yeah? just now we see uh, the uh, molecule yeah will condense and then diffracts yeah? when we uh, transform it to the uh, form of wave we can see here yeah the wave the wave either uh, in a form of cos or sine yeah so the wave it has a wavelength. This is wavelength from one peak to another peak. It is called wavelength. The symbol is lambda here. So wavelength for the one cycle from here to here is called one cycle. So this is called wavelength, and then the the the, uh, the amplitude here is called. It is called amplitude. Yeah. So the pressure that we measure yeah, in dBA is actually the amplitude. This is the amplitude that we measure. But we don't measure the wavelength, right? When we use sound level meter, we will uh, record the amplitude. We don't record the wavelength. Okay. All right. Um, beside that, from the lambda here yeah, and also the amplitude. So we'll get another properties. Okay, since the uh, the sun yeah, transfer through the air, yeah. So let's say this we, we know the speed of the uh, air is three four two meter per second. So we can calculate the frequency. So this is the relationship between the speed of sound in air is equal lambda f so all of all of you must know this relationship especially who's doing the material yeah c is equal lambda f f is the frequency frequency mean how many wave length how many wave length how many cycle in one second how many cycle this is one cycle right so how many cycle in one second is called frequency? Lambda is the, 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 the wavelength, okay? C is the speed of sound in the air, three, four, two meter per second. Yeah? So from this uh, relationship, you can calculate what is the, the length of the uh, wave, yeah? Okay. Okay, actually what we hear, yeah, we hear noise, we hear sound, actually is a complex sound wave. The complex sound wave means uh, it contains different frequencies yeah? from low frequencies to the high frequencies. So actually uh, it is uh, composed of, for example, 300 hertz, 400, 450, 660 and so on but we hear yeah, we, what we hear is a complex sound and our brain yeah, will will you know receive this sound yeah, and send to the our ears will receive through the cochlea here yeah, and send to our brain is it loud or is it slow something like that yeah we, we cannot we cannot uh, differentiate what is the frequencies yeah? so the, the 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 method uh, the method how we know what is the the frequency is 
by measuring using the sound level meter type one. Not every sound level can measure the frequency only type one. Okay, so this is the frequency that uh, frequency of the sound. It is from the as you can see here, it is from 10 hertz to 10,000 10, hertz. But our ear can hear 20 to 20,000. Okay. So for this diagram, we, it is just show you from 10 to 10,000. But our ears can hear 20 to 20,000. Okay. So you can see here from this uh, diagram, the upper part is the size of the wavelength. Okay, just now, what is wavelength? C is equal lambda frequency. Okay, so the lambda here, okay, lambda is the wavelength. Yeah, wavelength. This is the wavelength. Yeah, wavelength. The upper part is the wavelength. The bottom part is the frequency. Yeah. So this is the, 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 the scale that shows the, the, the conversion from the uh, frequency to the wave of length. For example, if you, uh, you got, if you are, uh, if you have, uh, if we have a 200 Hertz, yeah, it's equivalent to 17 meter yeah, by, by, by using, by calculate using the uh, just now, eh? C is equal. C is equal to wavelength lambda, yeah? lambda time frequency, yeah? frequency. So if you have a, a speed of sound in air three four three, yeah? divide uh, divided by divided by the frequency two hundred. Yeah? Sorry, divide divided by two hundred, so you can get what is that? Seven. Do you have calculator? I did calculator. Three four three divided by two hundred. Three four three divided uh, two hundred. <coughs> 1.715 huh? 1.715 1.715 yeah, 1 meter okay <coughs> so therefore yeah, as you can uh, if you have let's say uh, if the uh, sound wave is 1000 yeah, 1000 hertz so what is the value now 1,000. 3, 4, 3 divided 1,000. Eh? So easy. Eh? <coughs> so 0 0.3, 3, 4, 3, right? Okay. So you can see here, yeah, the greater the, the, the greater the uh, hertz, yeah? the smaller okay? the length, the wavelength. Yeah? Okay. Oh, you can see from here, 1,000 yeah, is about 0 0.3. The higher the hertz, the, the smaller the, the, the wavelength. Okay, so if you have 20 hertz, then it is 17 meter here, yeah, about 17 meter. Therefore, uh, to treat the noise from the low frequency is very difficult. Yeah? For example, uh, for example, yeah, um, traffic noise, yeah, traffic noise, uh, traffic noise dominant at five hundred. Yeah? Traffic noise. Traffic noise. Yeah? Dominant. At 500 hertz. Okay, so if 500 hertz, 
what would be the the the, the wavelength for 500 you can see it For if 500, we need. Boleh kira kan tak? Asin buat apa ni? 500. 0 0.68. 0. 0.686. 0. 0.6. Ah. Uh ah. -uh. Uh, so, so we need 0. 0.6. We need 0. So the wavelength is lambda is. 0.6 meter. Okay. Okay. Therefore, uh, to build a noise barrier, yeah, we must have a we must have an object at least 0 0.6 meter times 0 0.6 meter to to cut the noise from the 500 hertz. Yeah? Okay, uh, if uh, so, if the, for example, uh, truck, eh, truck, truck on the road, yeah, the, the, the maximum, the maximum noise level or uh, usually happen at very low uh, frequency, yeah, for example, here, 50, yeah, I have a, I have the frequency frequency spectra, but I forgot to uh, to show here. Yeah. So actually, for the truck, the dominant noise source is at very low frequency. Yeah? It is about fifty hertz. Yeah. Therefore, um, actually, by building a noise barrier, will not block the noise from the truck yeah? because we need a very large or very high uh, noise barrier. Because in reality, our noise barrier, the, the highest one is four meter, right? But if the, the truck, the, the, the dominant uh, sun is at 50, 50 hertz. So we can see here that the, the, the value of the wavelength is more than I think, what is it here? Yeah. Yeah, 50, 343 three divided by 50. Three four three divided by 50. 6.9 right there. 6.9. 6.9 yeah. meter. So it's not logic that we build the noise barrier with a high nine, nine uh, or seven meter high. Yeah. yeah. So therefore, in some countries, they build a tube, a yeah, tube, on the roadway, right, as a noise barrier. That is the reason. Yeah. Okay. Do you understand? This is very important eh, to those who doing research on material. Martin, do you understand, Martin? Mati tak ada. Mati, do you understand? Mati. Brazil apa me? Ah, boleh ikut dah tu sikit sikit. Calculation tu macam baru jugaklah. <laughs> okay. Right, uh, okay, now, just now we talked about frequency. Yeah? Remember last time when you in a secondary school, yeah? you learn about uh, prism, right? Prism. You learn about prism, right? When you uh, put a white light, it will produce a rainbow, right? So the, the, the concept of sun is the same like a prism. 
what you hear is a complex sound. But when you measured using the sound level meter, it is actually composed of a lot of frequencies. So this is the frequencies normally uh, for a sound, for a sound source, we have uh, frequencies. This is uh, octave band. This is one octave band frequencies. We have, uh, and each frequencies, the sound pressure level is not same. You can see here, at one to five, it is higher than 250. And 500 is higher than 250. So most of the cells will produce different sound pressure level at each frequencies. So our task is that our, as a engineers is determine what is the dominant source from the source, yeah, from the source, what is the, the dominant one. And we need to treat with the uh, material that can absorb the, domi the dominant source. Yeah? For example, now the dominant source is, the, no, the, dominant, the dominant source is to one to five. Yeah? Meaning that we need a material that has a sound absorption, a high sound absorption at one to five. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay, now um, this is just to show you that uh, some engineers like to, um, uh, to get the data of sound in terms of octave band. And some of, and most of us, uh, most of researchers uses one third octave band. So what is the difference? This is the, um, the frequency, it is from 10 to 10, uh, 20, uh, 20,000 actually that people can hurt. Yeah? So it varies yeah? up and down. So the engineers yes, shorten it, become octave band yeah? with the value of frequency 100, 200, 500, 1,000, 2,000, 5,000. Yeah? But most researchers uses one third octave band. What is one third octave band? It is 100, yeah, 200, 250, and so on. Yeah? Okay, so the important thing is that you know what is octave band, what is the different octave band, and one third octave band. And most of our reading will use one third octave band. Yeah? Okay. Okay, this is the type of noise. Eh? When you measure noise, outside noise, you go outside, you, you bring sound level meter, you measure the uh, noise source. If you found that the variation of the uh, sound pressure level like this, yeah, it, it has a peak, a lot of peaks like this, it is called non-steady noise. Eh? This is non-steady noise. Yeah? You got a tunnel. This one, the peak is called tunnel. Yeah, tunnel. tunnel. Okay. Uh, if but if you got reading like this, yeah, it without tonal, without significant tonal, so this is called steady noise. Right? Okay. So this is uh, frequencies, uh, loudness sound. Yeah. This uh, graph. Uh, was developed by Fletcher. Yeah. Uh, this is to you know to to show us that uh, sound pressure level versus frequencies, yeah. and this is the loudness loudness of sound. Okay, so this is our threshold. Yeah? Threshold means the minimum that we can hear the the, the sound. It is zero, it is called zero at 1K. We refer to the 1K here, eh? one frequency 1000. Okay, how to develop this threshold is that by looking at 1000, 1000, 1000 K here. Okay, this is our ear. Yeah, uh, they do this, they did this uh, experiment in the laboratory. They invite young people only, age below 25. Yeah? 
25 years age and below, they, they, they invited into the lab. And then they, they, they produce sound for each of the frequencies. And they put the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the us, the, the, the respondent, their perception. And this is the result. This is the result. The result shows that yeah, at low frequencies, yeah, we can our ear can stand very high noise level at 20 hertz. Yeah? This is you can see here 70 something, 70 dB. Yeah? This is dB, yeah? not dB, a dB. This is dB. But it will, you know, reduce as the frequency increase. Yeah? Until at 1K, yeah. And then it reduce again at three, three to four here, three to four. Yeah? And then increase again. Yeah? This is they obtain eh, by, uh, you know, by uh, using the uh, young people. Yeah? Okay. And then 1K, yeah? prefer to 1K again, 1,000K. Uh, but for 20,000, 20, uh, some preserver 20, yeah? they, they, they produce sound 20, yeah? and then they ask the respondent what they feel. And then they move to the other frequencies. And they ask the respondent what is the value that equivalent to the 20 at 1K. So this is the line that they have, right? and so on until hundred. It is called phone. Each line is called phone. Zero phone, 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100 phone. Yeah? So this is the loudness of sound. You, the, the most important thing is that our ears, yeah, very sensitive at 3,000 yeah, to three, this point. Yeah? This point, this point, okay. Our our uh, ears is very sensitive at three to four. Yeah. Okay. That's why for the workers, yeah, for the workers at the factory, uh, their ears will damage at these frequencies. Yeah. It has a. It has. It has a uh, curve, damage curve, based on their loudness sound here. Okay, so after uh, development of sound level meter, yeah, since this reading is dB, eh, dB is uh, if you see here when we read. When we measure the sound using the dB, yeah, the dB, our ears is not sensitive. Yeah? Our ears is actually not sensitive to the uh, low frequencies. Yeah? You can see here the low frequencies. Low frequencies. Yeah, low, low frequencies. Our ears do not sensitive with the low frequencies, yeah? but we. But it is our ears very sensitive to 200 and above, right? 200 and above, from here to here. Yeah? Where is my cursor? Oh, sorry. Okay. So our is actually sensitive from here to here. Although we can hear sound 20 to 2000, yeah, but our ears is more sens sensitive from 200 onward. This is only for the young people. Okay. All right. Based on this curve, okay, based on this curve, the 40, the uh, phone 40 is adopted, is adopted and 
uh, used in the development of sound level meter. Yeah. For the phone here. Okay. Okay, now we uh, go to the next topic, yeah, calculating sound. Okay, so this is very important. Yeah? If you have more than one source, you can see here, yeah, these two people, these two people have sound, uh, produce sound, uh, they mow the, 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 using the machine, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the sound produced is 60 dB. Yeah? So the reading from these two sounds, source here, is not 120. Yeah? You, you cannot uh, add arithmetically. Instead, you need to total using the log. Remember, yeah? if you want to combine the two sounds, two, three, four, five, and so on, of noise source, yeah? you cannot use arithmetic. You must use log. For example, if you do measurement near, uh, let's say you do measurement at traffic noise, yeah? you're doing the measurement near the road one hour for 24 hours. Yeah? So you cannot just adding up or sum up all the reading. You cannot do that. Instead, you must use this formula. Now, for example, for the first hour, 60, second hour, 60, and so on. So you need to do this, yeah? an average divided by 24, yeah? if you want to average. But you want to sum up this, you, you use this formula. Yeah? OK. Sometimes we also use subtraction. Subtraction also must be based on log. So these two formula is actually want to show you that if you work with uh, dB, dB is log. So you cannot do it arithmetically, or you just subtract or you're just adding arithmetically. But you need to use log. Okay, this is the example. Yeah. Okay, sound power level. Okay, this is the also important important in acoustic. Okay, every uh, every noise problem, yeah, it's caused by a source. That source, yeah, actually produce a sound power level. It is called. LW. For example, if we live near to the construction site, if we have the problem, noise problem from the construction site. So the, the, the most important thing is that we need to know what is the source, the source of noise. For example, this is the tractor, this is the, the source of the noise. And what is the power from this? We need to know what is the power that produced by this machine. It is called sound power level. It is same like the light, yeah, the light in our room. The power is what? Yeah, the, the light, the power of the light is what? It is similar with this, with, with the noise. Yeah? The, the, the unit also what? The power of the machine that produce sound. Yeah, don't be confused with the uh, power, power of the machine. Yeah? Power, yeah? kilojoule and so on. Don't, don't confuse with that. This is the acoustic power. The unit is what? And then we convert it to the dB. It is initially what, and then we convert to the dB. And it is called sound power level. Yeah? Why we, we, we call it sound power level? Because usually we measure it at one meter, yeah? at one meter from the source. Yeah? For example, this is the source. We measure one meter from the source. It is called sound power level. If it is greater than one meter, we call it sound pressure level. So the, uh, there is two different 
two different things. Huh? Sound power level is the uh, intensity of sound produced by the uh, by the source. Intensity of noise produced by the source. It is called sound power level, and it's usually measured at one meter distant from the source. And sound pressure level is the intensity of sound at any distance, greater than one meter. It is called sound pressure level. Okay, this is uh, this is meter, yeah, sound level meter, and this is the machine. So if we measure at one meter, we call it as sound power level. If we measure greater than one meter, it is called sound pressure level. Easy, yeah. One meter sound power level. Greater than that, sound pressure level. Okay. So when we measure, when we measure the noise, yeah, at any distance, one meter, two meter, or three meter, yeah, make sure our unit. Sometimes the unit is in dB. Yeah? This is in dB. Sometimes in dBA. Okay. Sometimes in dBA and sometimes in dBC. Yeah. So we need to be careful. Yeah. Look at the our meter carefully. Yeah. But some, but it is safe if you measure in dB. So then you can calculate what is dBA and then you can calculate dBC. Yeah. Okay. The dB you can see the dB. Yeah, the dB. If you uh, plot, if you record dB, then you measure. Uh, without concern to our ears. Eh? It is similar with the loudness just now. The, if you get this and you can plot it in a loudness plot just now. But if you want to concern with the uh, human health, you must change to the DBA. Yeah. Okay. So this is the original reading without concern to the human health. It's called DB. DB, yeah. And, but we, we can correct it to get DBA. So this is the correction. This figure is the correction. Then we can get the DBA, DBC, or DBZ. Sometimes we call DBZ. So how to get that? So we have a correction factor here. Okay. To change from DB, the reading in DB to DBA. So this is the correction. So DBC, I, I, I don't show you the DBC eh, because DBC is for the machine. So now we are concerned to the to human health. So this is the factor. Okay, let's see the example eh, because this is important. Okay, let's say we, we go to the to the construction site. Eh? We, we measure, there's a compressor. Eh? Yeah. And then you 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 measure with the meter in dB. Yeah, this is the, the the data you get. Yeah, this is the data you get. Yeah, this is all the reading in dB. Right. So the question here is that what is sound power in dB? Okay. So to get the sound power in dB, yeah, we need to add all this. Yeah, all this. Champo kansmoni. Yeah, add all this value. Frequency 3, 1.5, 63, 125, 250, and so on. But remember, you cannot adding by arithmetically. You must use log here. You can see here, log 10 times log 10, and then 10 individual reading divided by 10 plus 10 to, to the power of second reading divided by 10 plus 10 to the power of this, the, the next reading here divided by 10, and so on. So this is the sound power level, but the unit is dB. Yeah. So you got sound power level one to six here, but this is this not re re reflects the um, dBA. Yeah? We want the reading in dBA, but the question here asks you to calculate uh, each of them. So it's okay, but in Environmental noise, we concern, what we concern is DBA. This is example how to get uh, in DB and DBA. Uh, so this is how we get DB, sound power in DB. We just add up all of this data, but using log.
and uh, to get DBA, uh, here, DBA. Yeah, the reading just now, this is the reading just now in DB. What we need to do is that putting the word correction here for each of the health here. Each frequency has got the correction in order to get DBA. This is the correction for 31.5, 39.4, 12, 26.2 and so on. Yeah. And then just add up uh, arithmetic. Yeah. This one arithmetic. 1 to 4 minus 5 minus 39, you get 85. This one arithmetic. Yeah. Just add up arithmetically here for the correction. But for the total, total, yeah, you must add using log. Adding between the frequency must using log. But adding in the in the frequency, you can adding by arithmetic. Okay. So to get this, to get sound power level in DBA, you can use this formula again. Again, use this formula. Replace all this number yeah, into this formula so you can get DBA. Okay. Fahm, eh? Now, sound power level and sound pressure level. Yeah? As I mentioned just now, sound power is the intensity of sound one meter from the source. Yeah? One meter from the source, it is called sound power level. Greater than one meter, it is called sound pressure level. Okay. Sound power, yeah, this is the um, this is the, the, the equation. Yeah? Sound power is equal to LW. Yeah? This is the, the expression. This is the watt, reference watt and watt. Watt, this is the, 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 the machine watt, and this is the reference watt. So you get so forget about this. Eh? The, the number, the, the equation one. Equation one is the way how we, we got LW. If we have what? If we have what? Eh? For example, if the machine uh, 1.0 watt, eh, by using the equation one, you get 1 dB. Something like that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so this is sound power radiation, as I mentioned just now. Uh, let's say we have the machine, yeah, machine here, machine at here. Um, this machine will produce produce uh, sound and propagate to the R, yeah, R. R diameter, R meter, okay, R meter. Yeah. We we assume that noise source will propagate spherically, yeah. sphere, spherically, membulat situ, eh? spherical like this, like I show here. Okay, this is the source. It will propagate spherically. Therefore. Yeah. To get the sound LP, LP, we need to uh, calculate first the intensity. Yeah. Intensity is equal power divided by surface area. Yeah. Because the sound is the, the sound now propagate, sorry, propagate the surface of the cover the surface of sphere. This is the surface of sphere, four five r square. Yeah. The sound propagate all of this area. 4, 5, R square. This is the D. What? Okay, so you get equation 2. And then how to get the pressure? We don't want the intensity. We don't want uh, what per meter square. Yeah. Instead, we want uh, dB. dB uh, unit. Yeah? So we change it from this uh, equation 2 to the equation 3 by doing this lp is equal log 10 log 10 i this i divided by i reference i reference is 10 to, to, to the power of minus 12 yeah? so you get lp yeah? don't worry you don't need to remember this yeah? so this is how we calculate from 
what to db yeah. is sometimes uh, if you if you are you are contractor let's say you want to buy machine yeah? you will uh, you, uh, the the, pro, the manufacturer will give you uh, information about what sometimes it's only give given is only what so you need to calculate what is the lp yeah sometimes they they also put the but now they uh, give both eh, both value what and also lp if there's no uh, there's no lp you need to calculate from the what given yeah all right okay this is uh, this picture is about uh, a machine, a machine on the ground. Just now the machine is on the air. It, it propagates spherically. So it is suitable for the piling. Piling will, you know, from the air to the ground, right? So when the piling is on the air, so we can assume it, it radiates spherically. But for the most of the construction site equipment or plant, it is on the ground, so it is hemispherically. So the difference is that we now using the the area of the the area of the hemisphere here is actually two pi r square, two pi r square. Yeah. So again, you can calculate what is the LP doing using the same. Equation, we can get the new equation. Therefore, for the most of the uh, noise source, yeah, this is the equation. LP is equal LW minus 20 log 10R minus 8 dB. Yeah, this one. Equation, equation 6. For most of the noise source. For the car, if the car is static, not moving, so how to get the LP? Yeah. When you know LW, then you know the distance, so you can get the sound pressure level, okay, without using the meter. Yeah. If you have LW info, for example, if we have a, a machine yeah, on the construction site, we know. Uh, we know the LW and we know the distance, so you can get the LW. Okay, this is also the equation that can be used. Yeah? It, uh, beside six, you can also use this uh, equation seven. Yeah? Okay, this is the example, yeah. So I don't want to go with the example. Yeah. So maybe you can you can try it later yeah, when you got the problem. So you can learn from this example. Uh, okay, the next. Okay, this is the most important. Yeah. Okay. So this is most important sound absorption. So most of you will be using this, okay? So for those new, uh, for the PSM student, new PSM student, we have a lab, a lab acoustic lab in M50. Yeah? So this is our equipment. Actually, we have a lot of equipment under beside the table. Eh? You can see here. You can see here. Yeah, this is part of it. Yeah. So we have a special room here. So a student who doing material will use this uh, lab. Yeah. So this is impedance tube. Yeah. This is impedance tube. Uh, it can measure sound absorption and also transmission loss. Yeah. Okay. What is sound absorption? Okay. Sound absorption is actually, uh, as, as you can see here, yeah? if you have a material, 
and you have incident sound, some of it will be reflected and some of it will be transmitted. Absorb, yeah, and some of it absorb. Okay. By omitting the transmitted sound, yeah, sound coefficient, sound absorption coefficient here is equal. Incident, yeah, incident coming, incoming uh, sound minus reflected sound divided by incident sound. That is called alpha. Yeah, alpha. Okay. So this, uh, this tube impedance tube, yeah, measure the alpha here. Yeah, yeah. This is the noise generator. Yeah, the noise generator. We put a sample here. Yeah. Okay. Um, you can also measure alpha using reverberation room. We don't have re reverberation room yeah, in our lab, <clears throat> but you can maybe uh, in a serum, a serum, serum have reverberation room. Yeah. For this, the, the, the difference is that impedance tube, we only have a small sample, yeah? small sample, as you can see here, the sample is small, 100 millimeter and uh, 30 millimeter. Yeah? For the reverber reverberation room, we have large, the real sample, yeah? the real sample. If you want to test the wall, it is the size of the wall we put inside the room. Yeah? Okay. Okay, now, uh, what you have is that the uh, graph like this, yeah? the, the graph like this, it's called sound absorption here. Yeah? The maximum is one. Yeah? If you, if, if the material has alpha one, meaning that the material absorb, fully absorb the sound. Yeah? So if alpha is zero, meaning that the material reflect all the sound. Yeah? So what we have here is absorb and reflect. Yeah? So, but the absorption, as you can see here, yeah, this is the frequency. Just now you learn about frequency, right? The frequency, yeah, the, the, the absorption of sound is not the same yeah, in, uh, between frequencies. Sometimes, yeah, for example, at one two thousand here is very high, okay, and at the low frequency it's very low, below zero point one. Yeah, so for a material, although it is a uh, absorbent, yeah, the the you know the 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 the, the alpha is not same. Yeah, you look, look at the curve here. This is for the acoustic ceiling. Yeah? Although the name is acoustic ceiling, it's only absorb 0 0.9, 0 0.8, yeah? more or less here, yeah? 0 0.8 at frequency 1200. Okay, so therefore, uh, usually here yeah, for the purpose of uh, engineering uh, acoustic we, we 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 calculate the average we calculate the average of the uh, sound absorption it, it, it is called nrc noise noise reduction coefficient yeah okay before we go to uh, nrc let's see here another uh, curve here is shilling this is gypsum Gypsum ceiling compared to the acoustic ceiling. Look at gypsum ceiling. It's very low. It is reflective material. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So this graph is obtained from the experiment in the lab using the impedance tube. Impedance tube using the standing wave. Yeah. You can see here standing wave. Uh, like this. This is the, the, the source of sound, yeah? standing wave, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. 
standing wave. So this, this is the uh, the sample over here. So you, we will we usually we, we we measure using the here. This is the meter. This is meter here. Eh? Yeah. Meter one, meter two, meter one, meter two. Yeah. So this meter will measure how much sound absorbed by the material. Okay. All right. Um, okay. This is uh, another curve. Yeah. Another curve. Okay, what is the difference, this curve and the previous curve? You can see here, this material, material has a dominant, eh? this is called dominant. It's got curve here, so this is the dominant. We call it dominant, dominant, dominance, uh, dominant frequency, yeah, yeah. And this is the porous concrete. Eh? This is from a Zanaria sample. Eh? For the concrete, we have a uh, more than one dominant. Eh? Okay. Look at the 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 the, the, the green. Eh? Okay. This is the first dominant. This is the second dominant. The first. First dominant, dominant, this is second dominant, second dominant, dominant. Eh? Okay, the dominant is very important yeah, in acoustical engineering. All right. Um, why? Why it happened? Yeah. You can see here P, the blue one is the porous concrete with thickness 50, 50 millimeter. Yeah, 50 millimeter. The green one is for 100. 100. Yeah. The, the, the red one is 150. Okay. In acoustic, uh, uh, not in acoustic, from research, from research, uh, it's already determined that when we increase the, 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 uh, the thickness of the sample, yeah, domi the dominant, the dominant uh, frequency will also shift to the left, uh, shift to the left. This is 50 millimeter. Yeah. The dominant is 1000. When we increase to 100, the dominant will shift to the less than 500. And then when we increase to 150, it shifts to less than 250. Yeah, here. Yeah. So uh, when we concern about the traffic noise, for example, eh, traffic noise, the dominant source is 500. 150 traffic noise eh? dominant source is 500 to 150 Hertz. sorry Therefore, in order uh, for the engineer, for the engineer, when we uh, when we want to build noise barrier, we need to select the material that can treat, that can reduce the sound at these frequencies. So we need to look at the material that we're gonna use. For example, if we want to use porous concrete, yeah, we must select the element that can reduce uh, the maximum moment happen at 500 therefore if, if if we want if we look at the uh, these three types uh, the thickness it can be seen that if we choose the 
uh, the 50 millimeter, yeah, we can reduce at 100 hertz. Right? So what happened to 500? We still got problem with the 500, right? Because the, the, the maximum from traffic noise is from 500 to 1 to 50 hertz. Yeah? If we choose, for example, Yeah, five, we need we want five hundred. Eh? Okay, now if we choose the green one, yeah, the thickness is one hundred millimeter. Yeah, we will uh, absorb zero point four five. Zero point four five for five hundred hertz. Yeah, and for one thousand, we manage to what? Almost the same, yeah. Zero for five. Okay. So if we select the green one with thickness one hundred, so we can absorb zero point four five percent energy from the traffic noise. Yeah. But if we choose uh, fifty millimeter, yeah, we only absorb uh, energy at one thousand. But we cannot absorb energy greater than 1,000 because the, the curve now is reduced toward the 2,000, right? And at 500, it's very low. Yeah, here. Yeah. It's just past 0 0.10. Yeah. So that is the, the, you know, the significance of the uh, sound absorption absorption coefficient for the noise treatment yeah, by uh, I give example by using traffic noise yeah, not in the room not yet in the room yeah. okay any question I just saw that doctor yeah antara tiga ni yang mana paling okay so antara tiga ni yang hijau lah for me. Okay. Sebab dia boleh yeah. dekat dua-dua frekuensi lah kan? Ya. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Okay. Mati nak you okay? Cangat cenggang. Eh sorry. Saya so, cakap <laughs> in Malay pula lupa ada mati. So the good one is the the, the green one. Yeah, because it scatter for all range of traffic noise problem, 500 to 1 to 5 oh hertz. Okay. Zanaria ada ke Zanaria? Tak ada Tak ada kan doktor? Yeah. Tak lah. Sekejap eh saya saya punya zoom gila sikit hari ni. Saya tengok eh, sini ada tak Zanaria? Tak adalah. Rugi dia tak datang. <laughs> okay. Another thing is that. Okay. Another important one is that. Suhaida ada Suhaida? Suhaida ada? Saya nampak Suhaida tadi. Kak Su ada kan? Uh, doktor. Uh. So uh, for this graph, uh, for the uh, graph, uh, we can see that the different of the thickness lah kan? Maknanya uh, kita nak cari the good, the good one. Yeah. Macam tu. Yeah. Oh, so the the good one is the green, the green thickness, the, the hundred mm. Okay. Green, green thickness. Satu lagi the the characteristic ah, eh? the characteristic of the when you increase the thickness. What, whatever materials, any material, when you increase the thickness, you will get different. You know, different. Uh, you will you will find you will find that the dominant will shift to the left. Martin, do you you got that? Your material How about your material. Your material uh, got characters like this. 
I cannot hear you. Unmute, unmute. Unmute, Martin. Martin, turn your, turn your speaker on, Martin. Turn your speaker on. I have only one dominant. One, okay, okay. Uh, I have how only about, one dominant. How about various thickness? Yes, yes. I have this. Uh, different, uh, different, 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 uh, different thickness. Okay, different thickness. The, 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 the higher the thickness will move to the left, the, the, the dominant. Yes. yes. Same. same, yeah. If it is same, then it's good. Yeah. Okay. So another thing that well, I want to highlight is that the the this I think is important eh, from the previous research, but it is but this is in concrete. Eh? Uh, according to Netala, two thousand four, eh, this this uh, this formula still using by the researchers throughout the world. Yeah, the, uh, Netala found that F one, the frequency, yeah, will you know. The first dominant uh, has the uh, equation shown here. The first dominant will be C divided by 4L. Okay. 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 Okay, I will okay. work on it. Okay, Nedalek found that for the, uh, you know, varies with the thickness, yeah, uh, F1, dom the first dominant will be determined by this, C divided by 4L. The second dominant will be 3C divided 4L. C is the speed of sound just now, 3, 4, yes. 3. Okay, all right. Okay. So maybe from your research you got different formula. It's okay. Okay. All right. So you you can compare. Yeah. But I'm not sure for the uh, for the fiber, Martin. Maybe someone has got you know different something like that. Different different value. Yeah, this is for concrete. Okay. This is what already well known. Yeah. For the porous for the concrete. F1 is equal C. So if like Swaida and also uh, Zanaria, they replace some of the material in concrete with different, with, with other things, then uh, they can compare it with this one. The effect of material that they use uh, can compare. We can, we can compare the effect of uh, material uh, on the uh, dominant Dominant frequency here. Yeah. Ah, uh, doctor, yang uh, L tu apa ya? L ni is the thickness, sample thickness L. Okay. L is the sample thickness. You can you you uh, you cannot find this formula in the book. Yeah, this is from the research. Okay. Okay. No question. Okay, this is another uh, example of the concrete. Again, this is concrete, yeah? Okay, this is concrete. You, you can see here, yeah, by, uh, I don't know, this research, I just I just take the, the, the oh, sorry. I just take the graph, yeah, because the graph look interesting. Yes, yeah, sometimes the the the, the uh, dominant more than two. You can see here first dominant, second dominant, and third dominant here. Okay, so in that case, uh, in that case you can uh, if you're reading only up to one sixteen hundred, so you cannot 
you cannot get the value of NRC. You cannot get the value of NRC if your reading is just up to 1600. But if you got the value up to more than uh, 2000, then you can get NRC. Martin, you, 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 your reading is only up to 1600 because you uh, use you, you, you use um, yeah. diameter, oh. large diameter. If you want to get more, then you need to cut your sample uh, to the small one. So you will get the value up to 4,000. So then you can calculate NRC here. Okay. All right. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hello? Yeah. Hello, I have a question. Yeah. I calculated for my NRC, I use 1,600 instead of 2,000. I cannot. To calculate for my that. NRC, can that? You cannot do that. Oh. Yeah. You, you can see okay. here the trend, yeah? Oh. 2,000, no? Oh. Okay. But if you don't, you don't have. Uh, I'll if, Huh? If you don't have the value, it's okay. You don't need to calculate NRC, but you need to uh, to discuss about the you know for the frequency that you the important. For example, five hundred to fifty something okay. like that. Okay. 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 Reverberation. Okay. So what is the use of alpha? Alpha is used for calculation of reverberation time, R RT60. Yeah? Reverberation time is the, uh, I forgot to get the, 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 the meaning of uh, RT60. It's, it's like uh, the reduction of noise, eh? the, time, the time of noise to reduce 60 dB. Yeah. Okay, so that is RT60 how long it will take uh, for a sound drop from drop to 60 db let's say you have a source huh? let's say you have a source source 100 huh? 100 db Okay, let's say you have source 100 dB. So, um, forty dB. Yeah. So, how long a, a source uh, with 100 dB drop to 40 dB? It's called RT. Yeah. It's called RT. So this is called RT. So RT can be calculated using alpha eh? because you, if we want to measure reverberation time, yeah, we have a special equipment. Yeah? We need to rent. And the, the, the equipment is very expensive. That's why we don't have that. Uh, I think in faculty, uh, in school of electric, yeah, got that equipment, but it is very sensitive. Yeah. Uh, but uh, you, we, we, but we can still calculate yeah, using this equation given here. If you need feed, then you use RT sixty zero zero four nine. If our measurement is meter, then we use RT sixty. Yeah, I think for the PSM student, yeah, we, you, you need to calculate this. Eh? Uh, budak budak PSM, eh, RT sixty ni. Okay, it's basically yeah, lah. It's it's basically is for the room. Eh? Let's say we have a room eh, in lecture room or uh, any room. Yeah, if it is very reverberant, yeah, it's got noise problem. Noise problem in terms of reverberant, eh, bergema. Yeah. Therefore, the solution is by putting the sound absorber. Yeah, sound absorber uh, shown, shown in this diagram. Eh. You can put the sound absorber here, shown here at the top. At the wall, yeah. at four wall, 
at the shilling, yeah. But it must be calculated. We must we must know what is the value of the absorption alpha of the material, yeah. And also, um, we need to know what is the surface area. Okay, uh, let's say we have a very simple room. Yeah, very simple room here. Just a rectangle room. Yeah, rectangle room. What what we need to do is that we have we have just now we have the formula. Eh? The, our formula is down here. Zero one six one time volume of the room. You must know what is the volume of the room. Yeah, volume volume of the room divided by sigma a sigma sa this one sorry sorry this is s alpha this is s alpha copy typo error here yeah. Okay. 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 Uh if you have a room, yeah, problem with the reverberation, of course, yeah, because if your room, if your room has a, a concrete wall, yeah, concrete wall is very reflective, yeah. Okay, concrete wall, concrete wall, the alpha a alpha is zero point zero six. Yeah? Okay. 0 0.6, 0 0.1, something like that, which is very reflective. Yeah? So it's very reflective. Okay. Without any furniture and so on, this room will be very reverberate. Yeah, reverberate. If you, if you, you know, if you talk uh, or you yell, something like that, it will reflect. Yeah? Um, to treat this wall, you need you need to calculate the area of the wall eh? the area of the wall each area of the wall area of the wall area of this is the door area of the door eh? and at least in a table like this eh? okay to calculate to calculate the reverberation time all we need to do is that a sound absorption of sound alpha of the material yeah, for 250 hertz, 500 hertz, 100 hertz, 200 hertz, and 4000 hertz. Yeah. Therefore, yeah, you can see just now, yeah, we need to test the material up to 4000. Yeah? We need to test the material up to 4000. If you just test up to 1600, then you cannot use it, you know, in, for the room treatment. Yeah, because we need to find what is the alpha 250, 500, 1000, yeah, and 4000 here. Yeah. Okay. As uh, you can see here, we, we, need, we need to know 250, 500, 1000, 2000, and 4000. Okay. So, therefore, to get this, to get this value, yeah, for example, here, floor, floor, let's say our floor here is the marble. And the marble and the area, I, I don't give you the measurement, yeah, but I give you the area. So the area is 20.84 20 meters square, for example, yeah. So the alpha for the marble is 0 0.01 for 250 Hertz. Or 500, 0 0.01, 1000, 001, and so on, yeah. So 
for uh, the information about the alpha, you can get from the from the um, reference yeah, from the book from the manufacturer. Yeah, if you don't have you don't have that, you need to bring to the lab and test it. Get the the value. Yeah. Wall at the back, this is concrete wall. Eh? As you can see here, concrete wall, the area, concrete wall at the back. Where is the back? This is the front with the door. And the back is 12 to 12, 20. So this is the for the concrete. You can just insert the value for the concrete. And so on. Eh? Wall. So every wall that exposed to sound, eh? because the sound will reflect all around. Eh? Because uh, as, as you understand just now, um, sound will propagate spherically, yeah? spherically. Yeah? So they akan ber mengena semua dinding. So it will reflect all the the, the the wall here. That's why all the wall that not covered by anything will be considered here. Yeah. For example, the room is empty without any furniture and so on. So we need to calculate the area of the wall yeah? and then put the absorption of the concrete. Yeah. So look at here, the door. Yeah? Except for the front wall, yeah, there's a door. The door is the wood. Yeah? So the door is the wood. The wood area, the door area, 185. Put here. So put the absorption for the wood door. For example, 0 0.11, 0 0.10 and so on. The ceiling, yeah, the ceiling, this gypsum ceiling, just now we, we measured gypsum ceiling, so this is the reading. Then uh, we need, according to the equation, we need S alpha. So you multiply alpha with the area, so you get SF here. So every frequency we have S alpha. And then you, you uh, sum up here, down here, alpha. Yeah. So you get the, lastly, you got the, the reverberation time. Yeah? 0, 06, 0, 0161 time volume, volume 5795 divided by the area as alpha here that you calculate. So you get the, the value. Yeah? It's, it can be seen that if your room yeah, is empty without with, uh, with the wall, with the concrete wall, this is the reverberation time that we obtain from the calculation. Yeah, meaning that uh, for a uh, for a sound pressure level to drop as much as sixty dB, it will take about six point six two second for two fifty hertz. Yeah. And for the 500 hertz, it will take 4.97 seconds. 100,000, 5.14, 2,000, 1.7, 1.72. Yeah. So this is reverberation time. Yeah. So this reverberation time must be compared with the limit permit permissible uh, in a room. Yeah. So the permissible level in a room will depend on the usage of the room. If the room is for the teaching, the teaching RT must be 0 0.8 or below. Yeah? Or usually for the seminar is 1.0. Yeah? Um, RT, yeah, RT for class, RT 60 for class, usually is less than 0 0.8 for the small classroom. It depends on the volume also. Yeah, you, you can. You can get this uh, permissible level in, in the code yeah? I mentioned just now. For the classroom, you can see BB93. Yeah? Or you can refer also to the WHO and other countries' code. Yeah? For Malaysia, we don't have the code. Okay. So uh, as we can see, if we want to if we want if we want the room to be a uh, class it is much much greater than 0 0.8 therefore you need to you need to uh, change yeah? the change the change uh, uh, you need to uh, apply or you need to treat the room with the 
uh, sound absorber. Eh. Sound absorber maybe can be applied at the ceiling or at the wall. As as can we see uh, from the from this figure, we can apply it on the ceiling or on the wall around the wall here. Okay, but the area you need to calculate. This is this example shows how you calculate the area. For example, here I want to treat the the, the, the yellow one. Yeah? I want to put foam. This is the foam. Yeah? The foam I want to put uh, at the um, at the wall yeah? with with the area 6.1 or something like that. You you need to try you need to try yeah? until you get the satis the the satisfy uh, the satisfaction value here satisfied value. For example, for the uh, teaching, eh, we want 0 0.8. Yeah? 500 has 0 0.8. Yeah? It, it's here, coincident eh, 0 0.8. And for the 1,000, 0 0.35 and so on. Only for 250, it's very difficult to treat here, 1.89. But according to the, <coughs> to the researchers, yeah, for the uh, room, or for the uh, classroom, uh, basically people will look at 500 hertz. If we treat at 500 hertz and it satisfies with the per, uh, permissible level, then it's okay. So here I choose uh, at the, the wall, wall eh, as you can see, eh? the yellow, the yellow, uh, the yellow, the yellow one here. Yeah? We change the uh, we change to foam and glass wool, the ceiling. Sh eh? We change to the uh, glass wool. So the value of the alpha of the foam is op we we obtain it uh, by uh, by experiment. Yeah? But we 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 did experiment in the lab, and we get the value of alpha. Yeah? Other things like a uh, marble, yeah, we can get from the manufacturer. So this example shows you how we uh, uh, treat the room. Yeah? This is the uh, this is this is a, uh, work that we done in uh, at the Polytechnic Johor Bahru. Eh? We our group, eh, Dr. Hamzan and also Dr. Nadira. We 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 have uh, we treated a room at the Polytechnic Metro, Polytech Metro, yeah. This is actually, uh, the, this room, eh, this is the original room, is a multi-purpose room. I, I think they, they use it as a store, eh? but they they want to change this the, the store to the music room. Yeah? So according to the, according to the standard, the music room, uh, reverberation time is 0. 0 0.6 something like that eh? uh, for the uh, 100,000 so we 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 um, using calculation eh? we don't measure the the, the reverber reverberation uh, this is the uh, calculation that we done we perform yeah use a bit uh, before the treatment the, the the room the the room reverberation is very poor yeah 6.62 4.97 and so on which is not not suitable for the music yeah? then when we change to change a uh, part of the wall covered with the foam and the ceiling with the glass wool so we get the the desired one yeah? 0 0.35 here it, it's not only um, suitable for the music, but also suitable for the recording, yeah? recording purpose. So this is uh, the foam. Yeah, we 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 covered the wall with the foam. Yeah. This. Okay. And the reverberation, we can see. Uh, we plot the reverberation time here. You can see. Uh, it's uh, significantly reduced. Yeah? Okay, so that is the example example of the usage of alpha. So for the Martin of Farazila, our, our intention is to get the material yeah? material um, that uh, can you know absorb 
sound, yeah? but um, it's not necessarily with high sound absorption. Yeah? Because as you can see from the tape, from the, uh, from the, from the uh, example I've given to you, yeah? Uh, for example, if traffic noise, if you want to treat traffic noise, we want the alpha higher at 500 to 1 to 50. Yeah? It's not necessarily higher from the low frequency. So whatever material you got, uh, it is, it's still important yeah? because uh, to treat the room, yeah? uh, sometimes uh, we need to mix. We need to mix between uh, material with high absorption and material with uh, mild absorption. Both are important actually. Okay, any question? Ada soalan? Oh, uh, this is uh, the slide is about acoustic treatment on classroom at Polytechnic Metro. Yeah. Okay, this is another problem. Yeah. Uh, the problem here is that this is the classroom. The next is also classroom. The problem is that uh, the voice uh, the 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 people speaking over the uh, uh, another, uh, other classroom will be heard. Yeah? For example, uh, where is the, okay, here. Okay, uh, this is the, the first classroom and this is the second classroom. Uh, the first, when we when we uh, do the we did the uh, investigation. Uh, the the noise, yeah, the the source, the noise source from the first room, yeah, propagate to the ceiling, yeah, and then to the wall, and some of it penetrate through this gap, a gap uh, on the uh, partition here. Yeah, it, the, the classroom is separated by the, the board, eh? uh, the, not the board, I think. What is it, Nadira? Partition. Huh? Partition. 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 But with the gap up and down there. Eh? top and bottom. So the, the noise can penetrate to the, to the adjacent room. Yeah? So when we measure, when we measure, yeah, uh, it's clear, we can clearly hear the people, when people uh, talk over here, we can clearly hear. So we need to fit the room. This room we need to, 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 to treat the acoustic, not only the acoustic, but also this one. We need to cover this one because if we only treat the room acoustically by changing the ceiling, yeah. But this one still there's a gap here. Yeah, it's yeah, it's uh, still can be heard over here. It's cannot. Yeah, it, uh, it's not. You know, cannot uh, overcome the problem. Yeah? So what we what we done is that we replace the uh, the ceiling with the uh, <coughs> acoustic ceiling, and also we 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 put rubber rubber 
apply of what do you call that? Uh, apa? Ah, stopper. Eh? Stopper here. Stopper here. To stop the sound transfer from this room to the other room. Yeah. We put rubber here. That's very challenging. Yeah. The treatment is easy, but to stop the sun entering the gap is very difficult. Okay, so uh, for those who doing the uh, measurement, yeah, well, I think this uh, student Nadira student eh, <coughs> will be doing measurement, right? So you need to uh, measure the background noise, yeah, and also reverberation time. Reverberation time you you calculate yeah, by the method that uh, I mentioned just now, and the background noise uh, uh, through the measurement. Yeah. Please refer to the BB BB yeah, BB ninety three guideline. Yeah. So in BB93 guideline, um, you need to measure the background noise for 30 minutes. 30 minutes, I think. 35 or 30 minutes. Eh? Please check it. Eh? So what is the, the background noise at 30 minutes? OK, the background noise must be less than, uh, less than, eh? equal than 30, less or equal. Eh? Less or equal. Then 30 dB. Okay, that is the permissible, permissible level. Okay. Reverberation time must be 1.0. This is actually 1.0 1 is for the seminar, seminar room, but I think uh, you must also refer the volume. If the volume is greater than one minute, if the volume is small, then it must be zero. Zero point uh, six to eight second. This is if the volume is, uh, I think, two hundred. I forgot. That. So it's one point one point zero minute. Okay, so these two parameters are very important when you do the uh, um, acoustic. Eh? When you, if when you want to evaluate the acoustic quality in a room, especially in a classroom, yeah. And there are also another parameter that you need to to measure. Eh? For example, this one, eh? noise criteria for classroom. Okay, this is uh, for the classroom. The NC noise criteria must be thirty. Yeah. Okay, this one, this line can be downloaded eh, from the internet. Yeah? Okay, so actually, uh, this is to measure the room background noise. Just now you got the value, yeah? background noise uh, within 30 minutes. Yeah? So you get the uh, average for the 30 minutes for, for the frequencies. Yeah? Then you can plot. This one actually is the frequency. I forgot to change. This is the frequency, not one, two, three. This is the frequency actually. So you must measure the background noise using the frequency. Okay. So this is the original plot. Yeah, the line, yeah, the, 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 the lovely line, line here. Colorful is the original line. And for the classroom, it must be NC30. NC30. Yeah, NC30, the red one here. Yeah. It shows that uh, for this school or for the lecture room, the small lecture room, uh, with the icon on, yeah, with the icon on, NC must be below this or uh, similar uh, or yeah, near to this line when you plot the line. But in 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 the Polytechnic Metro. This is what we got, eh? the value of background noise with the icon. It's, it's uh, yeah, higher than, significantly higher than the permissible level. Eh? All right, so the, the, the solution is actually, you need to replace the icon. Eh? The icon is noisy, eh? 
So that's why uh, when we buy the aircon, please check the NC of the aircon. It must be 30. Yeah? The aircon, maybe before this you don't know, now you know that aircon also got NC, 30. Yeah? Please check that. So for the construction of the building, especially for the classroom, make sure the NC install yeah, must be uh, 30. Okay. Okay, this is the treatment that we did in uh, Polytechnic Metro and yeah, the ceiling. We changed the ceiling yeah, because the reverberation room also, reverber the artistic also greater than the permissible. So we need to change the uh, the, 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 the ceiling yeah, using the echo wool. Echo wool is the name of the product. It is a glass wool. Yeah. Uh, then this is after, yeah? after we replace, you cannot see the difference, it's almost the same. Yeah? Okay. And here you can see here, the, the, the black one, the, the black line here is the stopper, the stopper to stop the sound from penetrate. Yeah? Stop sound from here or the other room from transfer here, okay. And then this is after the treatment that we got. Yeah, we managed to reduce the uh, the background noise yeah? from the original one the, here to the this one. Yeah, the second line here. Bilik darja asa, bilik darja kini. The the current. Yeah, because because why? Because um. The the, the 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 noise, uh, the background noise, uh, dominantly uh, uh, caused by the aircon. Yeah, the aircon when we measured, uh, the value is forty seven dBA, so it's very noisy. So we 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 we, we managed to reduce it to up this line only. Okay, and this is the comparison before and after. Doctor, nak tanya je. Uh, uh. Yang graph tadi tu kan, Hani? Uh. This graph maksudnya uh, kita punya measurement tak akan dapat pattern yang sama lah dengan... Uh, uh, tak, tak, tak akan dapat. No. Okay. Okay, this is from the calculation. Okay. But to get this calculation, we, we you need to measure the uh, the, the material. Yeah? So for the student at the uh, apa? well Nadira student, maybe can you know if we can get the sample, it's it's better if if we don't have the sample, then maybe we can refer to the to the previous literature review. Okay, no problem. Eh, no problem. Any, any, any question? PSM student, ada senyap macam mana? Ada, ada. Eh, yeah. faham ke? Tengah hadam. Tak apa, tengok aja. Ya. Mau tanya Dr. Nadira nanti. <laughs> okay. Okay, ada satu lagi topik ya. Eh. Um, yang sangat penting juga transmission loss. Okay. Okay. Transmission loss eh. Transmission loss eh. Uh, tadi kita uh, just now we we have uh, you have learned sound absorption, you measure the sound absorption coefficient using impedance tube, yeah. So, transmission loss uh, beside sound absorption, we also can measure uh, trans, uh, transmission loss uh, using the same tube, yeah? but the, 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 the tube, we need extra tube, yeah? as, as you can see here in the picture, we need extra tube, we have the tube, yeah? okay, so we have large tube and uh, small tube, 
large tube for low low frequency 50 to 1600 and for the small tube it is for 500 to uh, 6 400 hertz yeah? so transmission loss is also important information yeah uh, for the material okay so what is what is it what is it what is the difference between absorption yeah? so you can see from the left diagram yeah, it, that is a wave sound wave sound wave coming yeah, with 90 db and reflect yeah, we don't know the reflect one but when we measured uh, at this side we have 40 db yeah so the difference between 90 to 40 is 50 that is called transmission loss martin oh martin yes ah, no, you asked about good. this right so that is called transmission loss 50 db that is the okay if you you still don't understand you can see the right diagram sound and light is using the same concept yeah you can see here the light yeah it's reflect reflect the whole thing yeah, reflects absorb eh? absorb by the material eh? absorb means absorb by the body of the material eh? transmit yeah, it, uh, it it's got the you know the light can pass through the material. This is transmit. Okay, so transmission loss eh, is actually the loss, the, the loss of energy. Yeah, during transmission, meaning that if you have a ninety dB, you you see here Martin dB eh? dB not dBA Martin dB. Yeah? Okay, meaning that we measure transmission loss. For each frequencies, yeah, each two hundred, three hundred, and so on. What is the uh, the dB for each frequency? Yeah, for each frequency, let's say this is five hundred frequency. If you got incoming sound, uh, ninety dB, yeah, and then uh, the reading from the impedance tube, you got fifty, meaning that it lost here, lost fifty dB and pass 40 dB through, through the uh, material. Okay, that is called transmission loss. Transmission loss is the, 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 uh, the value, yeah, the coefficient, uh, we, we, we may call it coefficient, yeah? the value, the value of the energy that loss yeah? during the transmission for each frequencies, okay? In, okay, it's different from STC. Yeah? Okay, uh, for uh, it's similar with the uh, sound absorption. Sound absorption, yeah, sound absorption coefficient is the value for each frequency, right? And then you calculate NRC. NRC, right? NRC is the average for the coefficient. Yeah, sound yes. coefficient, you get the average. So you can say that your material has NRC, NRC 0 0.6, the average of uh, reduction coefficient. Yana, bukan mana? Yana, kak. Sorry, disturb. My daughter disturb. Okay. Um, as you can understand that uh, sound absorption coefficient for each uh, frequency uh, actually is not, uh, you know, when you calculate the average, yeah, let's say you got 0 0.6, yeah, it's not, it is average, it is not the value of each of the frequency uh, absorption, right? So similar with this transmission, yeah? Just now we measure, we got transmission loss. Yeah? So transmission loss is the value of the uh, loss of energy of sound during transmission for, for the respected frequencies. While STC is the average, yeah? average it's similar with the uh, NRC. Yeah? But the method how to calculate is different from the NRC. NRC calculation is so simple by taking average coefficient at 250, 500, 
1000 and 2000 but not the stc the stc is quite tricky yeah? uh, but it give you a overall idea yeah? how well a building partition attenuates yeah? the, the, the here uh, you can see here stc class is an integer integer how well a building partition attenuates attenuates yeah? for example uh, stc uh, 1000 db yeah. And then at, you measure, uh, let's say we have a room, yeah, adjacent room. At the first room, you got uh, the, the, the incoming uh, sound is 100. And then it transmit through the wall. Yeah. And when you measure at the, uh, the, the room, at the room, the, the, the second room, you, you got value 55. And the loss between two, it's called STC. Yeah. It's similar with transmission loss but this one we average it yeah, from the from the transmission loss we can get stc all right it's average the transmission loss is for each frequencies but stc is average for all frequencies yeah? so we have the calculation here calculation here but uh, uh, this is the reading, the reading, let's say this is the concrete. Yeah? When we have a concrete, we put in impedance tube. Uh, the reading, uh, at, this is the frequency. So you got the reading here, 25.77 and so on. Yeah? Until 4,000. Yeah? Remember for, to calculate STC, you need to do, you need to carry out experiment until uh, high frequencies up to 4,000. Meaning that you need to carry out both large and small tube. If you only done uh, small tube, then you cannot get the value of STC. Okay, when you get the value from the impedance tube, yeah, you need to include the adjustment. Uh, adjustment. Remember just now, you need, this one is dB. You need to change to A, adjustment to A. Sound weighting, yeah, remember? Um, during uh, at, in the slide of physical sound, you, a weighting, you, you want to change from a to a uh, from db to dba. Yeah, use the same weighting and put it here 16, 13, 10, 7, 4, and so on. And then uh, this column is adjusted transmission loss. Yeah? This one adjusted transmission loss, meaning that you need to adjust. 25.77 plus 16, you got the value here, 41. 29 plus 13, you get this, okay? At 500, okay, here. So on, yeah? And then this one is tested. Okay, this one is the value that you want to test, yeah? So you can try, yeah? For example, concrete the value of STC is 40, 50, 30, and so on. You can you can try, you just put here the value 40. Yeah, you cut you 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 put all value, the same value, because you want to target your material 40. Let's say you want to target 40. Yeah? This is concrete, and this is value for concrete. So I want to target STC 40. So I put here 40 all. Yeah? And then uh, I will compare, yeah? I will uh, minus, adjusted with standard, uh, 40 here. So 41.77 minus 40, I got 177. Here I got value. Yeah? Then as we proceed, I will get negative yeah? because my value of adjusted transmission loss is less than my target. For example, this column, I will get negative. Yeah? This one is negative. So, uh, in order to get uh, to use this method, uh, you need to put zero. Although you got negative, you need to neglect and instead you put it as zero here. So every value negative, you put it zero. Yeah? And then use uh, and then check for every value. Yeah? So um, to get STC. Uh, this deficiencies here, the value must be less than eight. Each deficiencies must has value less than eight. 
if greater than eight, let's say you got ten, then forty is not suitable. You need to change the other value, maybe thirty something like that. Okay, so this is okay. So everything here fine, less than eight, and then you total them up. Everything here total them up. You got seventeen point nine five. So the total here must be less than thirty two. 32 dB. Yeah? Therefore, it is uh, uh, this material has STC value 40. Okay? So that is the method how to get STC from the material, STC from our material uh, using the um, uh, result from the transmission loss. Uh, this is my uh, sorry. This is my my spreadsheet. Yeah. Let's say here now. Let's say I want to change fifty. Yeah. Let's say my target is fifty. I don't want forty. Let's say I want to target fifty. Okay. Cut and paste. Uh, now you see it's eight. Eh? Eight. When the negative. Okay. Now the 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 the, um, the the condition is that if it is negative, then you put zero. Right? This is zero. This is zero. Something like that. Yeah? Okay. Oh, everything zero here. So actually, this is fifty STC. Yeah. Okay. Let's say we want to thirty. Okay, thirty. You can do try and error. Yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. This one is uh, this column. One minus tested. Okay. 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 Let's say we target S thirty. Eh? Let's say we want. Uh, we don't know our concrete. Yeah. Let's say we target thirty. If we put thirty, then uh, adjusted minus tested. Yeah, the value here greater than. It should be less than eight. So this is not valid. So you need to change to, let's say 45, eh? 45. So if 45, then do again like, like just now. Okay, now you can see, yeah. If all negative also not good. Eh? So you need to try something like that. Eh? Column about Pulo. So, if forty is just nice, yeah. Any injury cost song, Zero, zero. So, zero. If negative, then change to zero. Ah, seventeen. See. Okay, boleh faham eh? <coughs> okay, Martin. Very clear. Wow, ah, okay. Barazila, okay? Are you okay? Okay, doctor. Okay, eh? <laughs> okay, siapa lagi nak tanya? So doktor, yang doktor cakap test STC tu, kita tak boleh nak fixkan satu nombor je lah. Maknanya kena try and error. Yes, try and error. 
Okay, okay. Doktor. Yeah. Uh, apa ni nak double confirm untuk measurement background noise level tu kan? Hmm. Classroom. Kita guna one third octave kan? Ya, yeah, one third. Okay. One third octave band. Okay, doktor. Terima kasih. Um. Okay, any question? Tu Muhammad Asri tu. Muhammad Asri. Syami tak ada soalan ke? Belum lagi, masih tengah fahamkan. Hairul tak ada eh? Oh, Hairul tak ada. Oh, tak tahu dia pergi mana. Okay, okay. Suhaida, ha? nampak Suhaida tu. Tak tanya. Doktor lupa nak bagi tahu Kak Asu punya mic problem. Oh ya ke? Ha, macam hari tu dia dapat dengar doktor tapi kita tak dapat dengar suara Kak Asu. Pasal apa? Tak tahu. Mic kot. Tadi Kak Asu ada bagi tahu saya. Ya. Yeah. Ha. Mic dekat mana? Komputer ke apa? Komputer lah kot. Ni ada dia chat ni. Ada kat chat box ni. Oh ya ke? Tapi tak tengok. <laughs> So, tadi uh, Suhaida nampak tak saya tunjuk uh, yang sound absorption tu? Nampak doktor, semua doktor Kak Su nampak. Cuma tak boleh respon bersuara. Okay lah. okay lah. Kalau nampak okey lah. So, actually many many things we need to, you know, um, You, you need to learn actually. And actually, um, uh, I have not enough time to prepare uh, many things. Yeah? So if you have many pro any problem, then you just come ask me. There are lots of things need to need to you know need to understand, need to be understood, and then for your research, actually, uh, especially yeah. For those who doing the material, a lot of thing needs to to be to be understand. Banyak benda eh. Um, if you if you work with a fiber different from the concrete, only you yourself know that about that. So from, so from start from January, we will continue our discussion. We will organize a meeting every month, possibly. So everyone presented their uh, presented your work, and then we can learn from each other. Can we? Uh, uh, siapa? Nurut, uh, Nurut, Nurut Farazila, are you ready with uh, the ni? This January, we, we would like to invite you. For? Farazila. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, dengar. Invite for apa Dati? Ini uh, present lah, present apa yang perlu dibuat, literature review and so on. Ah, boleh, boleh. Ah. Because it is very important to yeah, sharing the information and then yeah, like my, Martin also do this uh, uh, fiber. Yeah? So maybe Martin can, uh, you know, comment, good comment and so on. Yeah, boleh, boleh. But, but we want, uh, but we want face to face. Eh? So Shakir mungkin. <laughs> boleh lah tak boleh. Eh, Sakir, siapa kawan awak tu? Saya lupa lah nak invite. Uh, Ifa Hazika. Oh, yelah lupa. Uh. Kalau nak face to face, boleh doktor. Tapi doktor kena bagi tahu awal sikit. Uh, boleh lah. Uh, nanti ya. Uh, nanti saya susun table, time table dengan Dr. Ruzan. So, you all comment lah mana satu you nak dulu ke apa. Because it is very important especially Uh, because uh, Martin is a senior for uh, for the uh, 
Razila and Shakin. My team got maybe got experience how to analyze and so on. You can share with each other. Danaria got experience more than Swaida. And so you can learn each other. Okay, uh, any question? Syami tak buka muka ke? Nazura semua mana ni? Tak ada rupa ke? <laughs> Kenapa menyorok semua? Ada soalan? Okey, kalau tak ada... Uh, I need to end up the meeting lah ya. Okay, tak ada eh? Tak ada soalan eh? Okay, until we uh, meet next time ya. Eh? Okay, don't forget take care. Take care, jaga diri. Jaga diri. Okay, uh, Martin, sorry. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> How do you celebrate today? Um, I'm reading. Huh? <laughs> I'm reading my books. You're reading. It's okay. Yeah. Next, next year. Next year. Hopefully. Next year. Hopefully I'll do it with my family. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Inshallah. Inshallah. Yeah. <laughs> happy Christmas Day. Happy. Dr. Rizan said happy Christmas Day. Thank you. You don't have a, a Christmas tree there. <laughs> Not <laughs> only me. <laughs> only me on my laptop. Okay, that's good. Okay, okay see you. Uh, Thank you. Okay, uh, before I forgot, next week, next week, um, uh, our hands on will be on. Uh, yes. Okay, uh, on on Wednesday, I think Wednesday. Yeah? Are you free on Wednesday? Yes, yes, we are. Hands on how to analyze using statistic. Statistic. Okay. Empirical. Good. Empirical modeling. You like, uh, I, I know you you very passionate about yes. empirical modeling. Yes. <laughs> okay, everyone. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you, Thank you, Dr.